What is this? A zigzagoon. I guess he does have zigzaggy stripes. Get water. Or, oh, sorry, she. She. My apologies. Apparently, it's ma'am. <laughs> you can tell because of the female symbol up in the top right. See, there it is. A female zigzagoon. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right. Are these things are afraid of me? That makes you want to fight them even more. A squabbit. Now, I don't know how many of these we want to take down. Like, obviously, we don't want to be underleveled. But I'm not sure where the dividing line for that would be. Granted, given that we're currently running a, a one Pokemon team, the dividing line is probably a bit higher for us than it would be for a normal player. Right, honestly, we probably want to avoid combats going forward. Because Sobble is getting a bit weak. Bit tired. Okay. Oh no. He's gonna challenge me to a battle, and I am in no shape to battle currently. So back to the Pokemon Center we go. Also, what, why is there like a dog following me? Uh, hello? What? Oh, dang it! I thought that was like the tame dog. I didn't realize it was a wild yamper. Uh, I think Water Gun is the way to go here, but we might actually die here. Oh, you're tail whipping? I got this. Our defense fell a bit, but hopefully not enough to get one shot. Like, you're just continually tail whipping. Not the strategy I would employ personally, but you know, you do you, I guess. There we go. Alright, gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. Wedgehurst. Is that the sort of name that would be like, like not out of place in actual England? I wonder. Maybe. Yep, okay, I'd like to rest the Pokemon, thanks. Alright, thank you. Pleasure doing business. Hello. <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm, do you want to tell me your fortune too? Or want me to tell you your fortune? Sure. Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? Oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. Lizzie lore here. We'll go with, uh, I don't know, we'll go with uh, 0, 5. That's May, right? Yeah, May, sure. Next, I need to know what day you were born. Okay, um, Lizzie, we'll say she was born on May... <laughs> May 45th. <laughs> Please enter a number. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, May 22nd. I got it. So your birthday is May 22nd? Sure. So since you're born on May 22nd, your fortune is? Let's see here. What's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. People's your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon, or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. Interesting.
All right, back into the wilds. To, I, well, we're gonna try to actually avoid the wild Pokemon to get into a trainer fight, which hopefully we're ready for. And we do have a party of one, but I've got faith in Sobble. <gasps> it's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Alright. You're challenged by Youngster Jake! A Squabbit. Okay, we've beaten up a lot of these in the wild. Should be fine. What does Bind do? Things such as long bodies or tentacles are used to bind and squeeze a target for four to five turns. Hey, let's try it out! Get bound! Like a book. Okay, he's tackle. Wait, did, did my binding miss? Try again. Get bound. He avoided it. I've got an 85% hit chance. How did he avoid it two times in a row? You're, you're getting bound this time. There we go. Hopefully that helps. There we go, we got the D.O.T. Damage over time. That's what you want to see. Already I'm imagining Bind is probably one of the sorts of moves that I'm going to keep around way longer than is advisable. Just addicted to the D.O.T. And I don't mean the Department of Transportation. Alrighty. Ah, I was hoping for a level. Oh well. You defeated Youngster Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Oh. You'll have your day in the sun sometime, buddy. But hey, I respect you. You, you. You're willing to face a one on one, Pokemon to Pokemon. Not a lot of people do that these days. You've got my respect. Okay, moving on. Oh, what have we here? Two potions. Yeah, I, I can't. Lizzie, get more adventure. Leap off the cliff. What about here? Okay, there we go. I can leap off that cliff. I see. Okay, three peg walls, that's useful. Oh! Cute and strong together in combination. Let me guess, you've got the most cutesy Pokemon possible. Lass Lauren. A Choodle. I know, honestly, that thing is a bit off putting. All right, get bound. There we go, it actually worked this time. All right, you gonna tackle my Sobble, eh? I'm unafraid. All right, we'll water gun ya. Oh, okay. But are you a water type as well? Because I don't think water is effective against water. Pounding, though. This is... And we can... We'll win this on this next turn, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm probably going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Ten. You love to see it. Are we cute and nothing more? Looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Five hundred bucks. Thank you.
Okay, there's a trainer waiting there. We gotta get healed. So off we go. Back the way we came to the Pokemon Center. Avoiding the wild Pokemon along the way. Because if I face one of them, I will die. I guess, like, a normal person at this point would have had, you know, like, six Pokemon already. And be like, ah, I don't need to heal. I'll just switch to a different healthy Pokemon. But, uh, not Lizzie. Because Lizzie is, has good moral fiber. Alright, thank you, ma'am. All right, on the road again. Yeah, and so far, game seems to be pretty decent. Going pretty well thus far in the challenge, respect at least. Uh, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised. Of all of the game series that I thought would be like certain to like over tutorials to the point of forcing you to like catch Pokemon. I would have thought Pokemon would have been one of them, but apparently not. Like this game, Scarlet too. It's actually quite accommodating. I can beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Hmm. Well, I gotta beat this kid because I don't want this through the transitive property to be worse than Hop. You're on, Benjamin. A blip bug? Okay. Um, water gun, yeah. Bugs are generally weak to water, yeah? At least in, in real life. A struggle bug. Why? Can't make my special attack fall. That's annoying. There we go. Is that all you got? Oh, he's got a naked. Oh, that's cute. Man, I wish I had a naked. Oh, a quick attack? Not very strong. Pretty quick, though. Let's bind you. I and mean, if you're gonna use bind, you should definitely use it first, though. And that is a pretty good attack. How dare you. I'm still water gunning you. The tail on that creature is kind of weird. I wonder what the reason is for it. There you go. So there you go. See what having caught multiple Pokemon did for you? Nothing. Lose to wild Pokemon. Lose to many trainers. Yeah. This kid is not having a good day. But I am so, uh, later kid. Later loser. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. And that was just good. But okay. Why, Hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Lizzie. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Um, appreciate the vote of confidence. Dislike the, like, pressure. 
Honestly, this must be what like newly married couples feel like. <laughs> so, so when are you catching Pokemon? So when are you having a baby? <laughs> You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Lizzie? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Up and Lizzie only just started out as Pokemon trainers. Still those they don't know yet. Jerry, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. You're freaking me out, Top. Alright then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Thanks, sir. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Lizzie. Oh, Professor. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon, and for yourself, too. Ooh, what have we here? Oh, this is an adorable thing, a squee. Can I have, um... No? Okay. Who are you? You, like, husband? Son? Cousin? Uncle? Oh, Gardener. Do what plants want, would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Sure. Your gardener is weird, ma'am. Oh, I'm going upstairs. Oh, books. Oh, I can't read them. Never mind. Oh. There are a lot of books that look difficult to understand. Some of them are collections of Professor Magnolia's research. Fascinating. Oh, is this a, a room? More colorful than I had imagined. A hairdryer and barrel hairbrush have been left lying around without being put away. There are some scientific journals and fashion magazines mixed in amongst the old books. That's a lot of... Ladies, do you actually have this like much stuff? Because that's a lot. I just have like soap, comb, and maybe some hair products. And that, that's it. Even the hair product is realistically kind of optional. Especially if I'm wearing a hat that day. Okay, hold on. There's going to be something out back. You know there's going to be something in the back. That's what we call an elite gamer move. Payback! What, what does it do? The user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack power will be doubled. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, it's where was that in the bag? I guess. Uh, Sobble can't learn it. It's a dark type move. Hmm. It seems pretty cool, but apparently Sobble can't learn it. So, oh well. Hurry it up, Lizzie! You've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement! Oh, hop, hop, hop. You are not getting the endorsement. I am. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need to add endorsement to take part in the gym challenge! Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes! Of course. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two 
You're in trainer's battle too? Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. All right, hop. Is it just me or do like the random trainer battles have more pizzazz in their openings? Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Okay, a Wulu. This one's probably weak. Let's just start with, because growling doesn't affect me, it affects my opponents. So we'll, we'll water gun you. I like the bind, we're probably gonna save the bind for when he brings out like a more powerful Pokemon. Probably a starter if I have to guess. So far so good. Nice. Alright, Hop, what you got? A score bunny, eh? Well, score bunny water gun is going to be super effective again, so we just use that, obviously. Ouch. Well, look at you. Seems like you really learned your type matchups. I did the exact same thing the first time we fought. Oh, you're hopeless. Young boy, hopeless, I say. All right, and what's the last Pokemon? Get a surprise for me? Up those sleeves of your, oh wait, no, you roll up your sleeves. Whatever, hop. Let's hop to it. Oh, it's funny, he's hop, he, he has a bunny Pokemon. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match or something. A Rook D, eh? Okay. We're gonna bind you. Man, Hop, your team is pathetic. You're going down. Alright, you he'd better not get the endorsement after this. Like, this was a total smackdown. Ooh, god, got it that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. I even got my Pokeballs thrown perfect, too. Let's sing of defeat and the joy of victory. Guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Lizzie, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. R really? Him? He just lost 1v3! And it wasn't even close! Send this man back to like the nursery or something. Sheesh! I, he is unworthy. Like, he's calling me a rival? I'm insulted. That's an insult to me. Because he is so bad to, to associate me with him at his level. No, no, no! And you're giving his first, really? Darn patriarchy. You obtained a letter of endorsements. Okay, you put it in your key items pocket. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks Lee, I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, but and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Was it? Was it? Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball at. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you. 
still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Lizzie. Alright, Lizzie. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. This is a really one-sided relationship. Against one another? Against this poor specimen of a man? That's the way of it when you've got a great rival, just like you've got me and I've got you. Again, please quit putting us in the same category. You're pathetic. Huh? What's that? Yeah, I said it. You're pathetic. I, I, I would be ashamed to be associated with you, and which would imply even slightly that I'm even close to your level, because, quite frankly, if you're shooting for the moon, then baby, I'm already at the sun and the stars beyond. Oh, you're talking at the shooting star thing? I don't know what that is. It just looks kind of weird and scary. Lizzie, would you look at this? They're wishing stars! Hop, if that was an actual star that just careened into Earth, then, um... Well, then there wouldn't be an Earth anymore. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. I obtained a wishing star. Okay. I'm going to assume that has something to do with Dynamaxing. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax! They're gonna be massive, yeah! Trust you to pull something like this? I say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their hearts, you know? I'll be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hope. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. Because somehow, despite the fact that they come literally from the sky and the stars and space above, they only land in this one region of the entire Earth. It's a mystery, that's for sure. But they won't do a thing for you in that state, even to me now that I have you sorted. Alright, uh, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Lizzie and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon! First, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the sun slumbering wield, and now this! It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime! I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey? Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitements. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be feeling, must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy s curries. Curries, huh? And I'm game. Maybe I could make some curry today, like for re in real life. That'd be good. Hmm. It's morning at last, and uh, time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challenges. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Oh, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Lucy tried to fight it off, but then I, I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Ah, uh, right font of, ah, uh, right font of information you are. Lizzie, hop, this is for you. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Alright, a wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets, a light out, lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Okay. These are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing star you found last night onto the bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. 
It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynax our Pokemon like he does. By your word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet. If you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex too. That's right, I'm looking at you, Lizzie. I can tell you've been slacking off. And I don't want to hear any of that newfangled nonsense about the people for the ethical treatment of Pokemon, okay? It's absurd. Anyway. The Legend of is... Rain is finally about to begin. I almost said the legend where I resigned. That'd be a very different, uh, very different connotation. Come on, Lizzie, I'll beat you to the station. He did indeed beat her to the station. Uh, see you later, Ragnar. Now don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That's right, Lizzie. I am expecting that uh, Pokedex to be filled out before we next meet. You're not going to do it, are you? No, no, I tried. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. Sonia, anything to say for yourself? A strange Pokemon in the slumbering world. I don't know. I've got an uneasy feeling for some reason. Well, good luck with that. I'm out of here. Alright, to the station. One last thing before we race, Lizzie. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering out of the wrong granite? Wandering out of the tall grass, yeah? If you have real slow, I can crouch down. Those Pokemon won't pay any notice. Okay. How's this helpful? But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. You need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Lizzie. I have no interest. You remember Wedge her station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there.